Right now, doctors in a fight to save this Hillsborough County teen bitten by a poisonous snake. The attack leaving him in critical condition while at the same time, get this, facing possible jail time. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos live tonight outside of Tampa General Hospital for us. Maricela. Tonight, 18 year old Austin Hadfield is resting inside one of those hospital rooms at Tampa General Hospital. He and I have been messaging briefly back and forth via Facebook. And the people that need to speak to him are investigators, and they haven't done so yet because of the extent of his injuries, and they hope they can do that soon. Pictures on social media leave no doubt 18 year old Austin Hadfield has a passion for snakes. On Saturday, investigators say a four foot water moccasin that Hatfield caught bit him in the face inside a home in Waimama. The teen was rushed to Tampa General Hospital so sick, investigators from Florida Fish and Wildlife have yet to interview him. Low percentage, very rare. Alfred Allegras is the managing director of the Florida Poison Information Center. He didn't talk about this specific case, but told me water moccasins aren't common in this area, mostly freshwater lakes and swamps. They're not the most poisonous snakes that we have here. Allegra says bites from rattlesnakes are much more common. Don't play with them, don't handle them, don't do anything. Stay away from them. Leave them alone. They'll leave you alone. In this case, authorities say Austin didn't have the proper permit for his venomous snake. Authorities say Austin could face charges and ultimately a fine and time behind bars. Florida Fish and Wildlife are still investigating. Allegra did mention, depending on the snake bite and how extensive it is, and if you spend time in an intensive care unit, medical bills can pile up. That figure could be up to $50,000. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.